So these people, let's say, like, um, the Screen Artists Guild did, right? You know how you know, things are awry now. <laughs> well, let's not say the Screen Artists Guild. These rich families and these religious, right, that want to have state and royal, they get into areas of life basically to hold it there to have power and then to ruin it all for everyone like what they did to me um to then rule again right so i think the screen artists guild or them of the families of that in the 1890s 1920s they were um or before the 20s maybe 1850s 1900s they were in um politics in America's right setting it up or wherever but more so of influencing the America so that they could come in here do that and now move on right because now they're getting back into politics but maybe they're in um, medical right 1850s to 1900s this way they could hide the numbers of births on earth and that's what they do Kind of like what I didn't know they did that, but it seems like, well, what I'm doing, because, you know, I'm not going to allow anything to be used, like, forever, basically, right? Anything related, because that's law. And, um, see, what they do is they do it with their families. So even some of these families that are disabled and invalids, they have families that actually want disabled, right? And want that because, see, that's what their whole group is doing. Because before it was, um, let's say, incestual. And before that, it was, let's say, um, you know, to power politics. Or before that, sports. And the deviants, they'll just do anything. And usually it's based on child rape, which is juvenile delinquents. Um, some people, um, I don't want to use the United Nations term, so uh, juvenile deviants, pedophile delinquents. And I know you're going to curse and all that, but that's what they do. You know what I mean? And then set someone up, and then you guys are like, oh, for decades or centuries after this person, and then later on you realize, oh, we're wrong, and then by then the literature changes. So it's kind of funny how um, it's happening again, and... Um, still haven't gotten them that um you know the, like the tin pan alley all that um juvenile deviants right of why this religious group was kicked out and i was in on that as well as the you know the large people not being aided because you were told 30 years ago <laughs> you know and that's why they're saying hey you know what i'll get you playboy prostitutes just have a kid who's disabled or if so you know, if you have to struggle, you know what, just cut, just get, get the operation. Because it helps us, because then, we, you know, we could hide in operations and get fat. The excuses go on. But, um, I, I, I'm not sure what it is, but to, to make sure they're healthy, large, overweight people have to be in surgery people. Right? Isn't that correct? Especially in first world countries. Right? So, I'm not anywhere involved in surgeries yet they have me involved they have me as a quadriplegic because edmund backwards quinumde and someone andre barrett or a black person's like hey that's pretty funny it's like the bridge eh he was like better than us at what we were doing his whole life he's more black like me than black people <clears throat> and look what we're doing because you know he's white so we could get away with it and that's the truth that's going on <clears throat> 